This is Sean from Sean Does, and this is my review of Get Sleep in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Okay, here's a map of Chiang Mai. And on the south part, you can see Maya, which is a very popular shopping center here within the city. Up north, you'll see Get Sleep. That's where I stayed and what I'll show you guys today. I've also included the address and phone number as well. Okay, so here we just have some stock motorbike footage. Uh, this is not really on the way to get sleep, but uh, I will have plenty of motorbike footage coming out in the future, so stay tuned to that. And let's get started on this review. The first thing that we'll cover today is cost. Get sleep is more of your mid range when it comes to price and uh, amenities. Uh, it comes in at about 864 Thai baht per night, which is around 25 US dollars. If you don't mind bed bugs and other uh, things like sleeping with a bunch of other people, etc., you can actually find guest houses for as low as about 120 baht, which is about $3.50 US. Now, if you really want to go all out, I mean, you can also rent a place for one night for 19,189 Thai baht. Now, that comes to 565 US dollars. Now, let's take a look at some of the amenities that you can expect to see when you stay at Get Sleep. Internet was adequate, and we saw speeds of 13 down and around 30 up. Uh, sometimes it would drop out, but for the most part, pretty good. Breakfast had a nice assortment of meats. Uh, sometimes you would see pork, rice. You would always see eggs, and you would usually always see uh, these bologna slices, as well as little uh, hot dogs. Uh, they had toast, they had milk and cereal, and they also had jelly and like a sweet coconut uh, sauce you could use as well. Now I didn't notice much problems with mosquitoes in other parts of this hotel, but definitely during eating it was uh, quite the hassle. In the room you could find a card that said everything you need, press zero. They did provide a service, a bike service for free, as well as uh, calling a taxi if you needed a taxi, and you could also use the field next door if you needed to. Next we'll go through the room walkthrough. Please excuse the strobing as I did have the camera on 60 frames per second instead of 50 frames per second. Okay, so here we are entering the room. You can see the restroom right there. Go ahead and lock the door. Plenty of space to put clothes. Uh, you have your fuse box up here. The power did go out twice during my four days of staying there, um, which was a minor inconvenience. Here's the bathroom. You got a mirror, sink, shower area with hot water, a window up top. You also have the uh, bum gun, if you're familiar with Thailand, if you've been to Thailand before, you'll know what that is. My life will never be the same. And we're exiting the bathroom now. You can see a good shot of the room here. I'll go ahead and show you the refrigerator. Now you do get two free waters per day. They come in these glass containers, which do have a seal on them when you get them. Uh, but they are apparently reused, so I never did get sick or anything. Press zero if you need something. Uh, the staff does speak limited English. The staff are extremely nice, though. You get two pillows. The bed was kind of stiff. The sheet tells you about the breakfast and all the other things they provide. Breakfast was from 7 to 10 a.m. 
here's a little work area that I set up. I stayed uh, June 4th. Thai bot. Exchange rate at this time was about 34 to 1 US dollar. No smoking in the room. Uh, TV was adequate, had plenty of channels, mostly Thai channels, but I did not watch much TV. So it wasn't a huge deal for me. I also had a chair over here, a little table. Aircon worked really well. Okay, show you the outside balcony. Each room does have balcony. Uh, this room had a great view of the mountains as well as uh, the sunrise every morning. So it was very beautiful. Some of our neighbors down there. 